Welcome. In front of me is a Xiaomi Redmi Note 9T, and today I will show you how to enable the talkback on this device. So to get started, you will want to open up your settings. From here, scroll down to additional settings, select accessibility, and in here, uh, disregard the actual like talkback that you can see right here because the talkback option is located in this very vaguely visible uh, vision category. So once you tap on it here, you will have talkback over here. Enable it. Allow and talk back on. Talk back. Media volume control shown. There we go. I'm gonna mute it just so I can actually talk. So that is how you would enable it. Normally, when you enable it, it does give you a little bit of a different window, which I already went through it, so that's why it's not showing right now. And generally, to navigate through this, well, in this mode, you will first tap on an item that you want to. Uh, basically use so as an example back button to select it and then double tap it to basically perform it now whatever is selected on the top back will basically tell you what's selected and from there uh, all you need to do is just just keep selecting whatever you want so that is how you navigate through it now additionally when you have uh, pages that can scroll up or down as you can see when you try to do it normally it doesn't work so what you need to do is use two fingers and voila now you can scroll up and down and additionally as you can see on the screen you can see this being basically visible all the time you have press and hold volume uh, down and up for three seconds to turn off uh, talkback which will just basically suspend it and allow you to use the phone normally now once you reboot the device it I believe it goes back to being enabled so if you want to permanently turn it off you will have to go back to vision settings and accessibility oh, not this one there we go so apparently double clicking here means going back so you first need to select it and then double click on it otherwise There we go. And now I can actually use the device normally. So anyway, this is how you would enable it and actually turn it off as well. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.